You know how sometimes less really is more? That idea is catching on fast with people using GLP-1 medications like semaglutide and terzepatide, and honestly, it makes a lot of sense. Today, we are going to break down why more people are microdosing GLP-1 medications, saving money, feeling more in control, and making the whole experience much easier. Before we dive deeper, it is very important to understand that microdosing your Ozempic pen is considered an unofficial practice. It is not recommended by Novo Nordisk, the manufacturer, and it is not approved by the FDA. There are no large clinical trials or official scientific studies proving the safety, effectiveness, or benefits of microdosing GLP-1 medications. People are experimenting on their own, and many have shared that smaller doses helped reduce side effects like nausea and fatigue. However, when it comes to blood sugar control or weight loss, microdosing is unlikely to deliver the results you would get from full, prescribed doses. It might have helped some individuals, but everyone's metabolism and health condition are different. Now, let us talk about Ozempic. Figuring out how to take smaller doses by counting pen clicks sounds tricky, but it is actually much easier than you might think. I am going to show you a method that is simple, clear, and based on real numbers. No weird guessing and no risky shortcuts. Here is something a lot of people do not realize. Ozempic pens are not identical. Depending on whether you have a half milligram pen, a one milligram pen, or a two milligram pen, the number of clicks to your full dose changes. Also, pens made for different countries might not be exactly the same because of different rules and approvals. But there is one thing you can rely on. The concentration inside the pen stays about the same everywhere. So forget about how much total medication is inside the pen. What matters is the labeled dose your dial delivers when fully set. However, real world users have noticed variations. The table below summarizes the official Ozempic pen configurations alongside the range of unofficial click counts reported for the labeled doses. This highlights the difference between official product specs and user-driven click counting practices. Because we clearly see differences in the click counts reported by users, it is absolutely essential to always manually count the clicks on your own pen. Never assume the number. Count it yourself to be sure. For example, if you have a 1 milligram pen and your full labeled dose takes 72 clicks, you would divide 1 milligram by 72 clicks. 1 milligram divided by 72 clicks equals about 0.0139 milligrams per click. But if your pen takes 74 clicks to reach 1 milligram, you would divide 1 milligram by 74 clicks. 1 milligram divided by 74 clicks equals about 0.0135 milligrams per click. You see the difference? That small change matters when microdosing. The click counts and doses we shared here are examples only, based on user reports. Your own pen might be slightly different. Always check your pen's labeled dose and manually count the clicks yourself to be sure. Never assume your pen will match exactly with these example numbers. Now, if you want to take a microdose, here's what you do next. Multiply the number of clicks you want to use by the amount of medication per click that you just calculated for your specific pen. For example, if your pen delivers about 0.0135 milligrams per click and you want a dose of about 0.27 milligrams, you would divide 0.27 by 0.0135. That would tell you to stop after about 20 clicks. So always follow these steps for your specific pen. Step one, check your pen's label to confirm the strength. Step two, manually count how many clicks it takes to reach the full labeled dose. Step three, Divide the labeled dose by your own counted number of clicks. That gives you the exact medication amount delivered per click for your pen. Step four, divide your desired microdose by your medication per click value. That tells you exactly how many clicks to use. Pretty straightforward once you walk through it carefully, right? Here is a spoken summary of the typical real world findings. For a pen labeled 0.25 milligrams or 0.5 milligrams, Total semaglutide inside is 2 mg. Solution volume is either 1.5 or 3 milliliters. It usually takes between 36 and 38 clicks for a 0.5 mg dose. Each click delivers about 0.013 to 0.014 mg. For a 1 mg pen, total semaglutide is 4 mg. Solution volume is 3 milliliters. Click counts for the full 1 mg dose range between 72 and 78. Each click delivers about 0.0128 to 0.0139 mg. 
For a 2 mg pen, total semaglutide is 8 mg. Solution volume is 3 ml. Click counts for the full 2 mg dose range between 72, but make sure to count the exact clicks on the pen in your hand. Just take that 2 mg dose and divide it by 72 clicks. And boom, you've got your dose per click. Super simple, right? But here is a big heads up. The FDA and Novo Nordisk officially say you should not use clicks to set doses. It is not the approved method. So this information is for educational purposes only. Always talk with your healthcare provider if you are thinking about trying anything new. If you found this helpful, please subscribe to Pharmacist online. Next up, we will explain how GLP-1 prices affect patient choices. It is really eye-opening. Tap on the playlist and I will meet you there.